Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to take you through one of my favorite little toys, my USB software defined radio and the kit that I've created so I can receive on just about any band that I'm interested in uh, via my laptop when I'm on the go. Hey guys, welcome back. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Eric. Welcome. Today we'll take a look at my kit that I've created of my software-defined radios and supporting gear. This is the case that I house everything in, and uh, we'll just unpack it and go through each item. For those unfamiliar with these, these are a USB dongle designed for receiving TV signals. Uh, not so useful in North America for that, but these have been hacked and turned into basically an all-band receiver that you can hook into any PC and receive radio frequencies from, well, with the kit I'm going to show you here, right down from the HF bottom of the spectrum right up to about a little over a gigahertz. So. Let's have a look and see what we have. What I keep my kit in is um, this is an Arduino starter kit plastic case that just happened to be about the perfect size. It's small enough I can just slide it into my laptop bag when I'm on the move. Uh, for the most part I keep this dongle and its related antenna just in my laptop bag at all times which allows me to tune in to just about anything. So this one is the 820T and this Terratech unit is uh, basically the same idea, only a slightly different chipset, so they have uh, slightly different response characteristics. So with these two, I can tune into simultaneous on two different frequencies at any given time, or set up trunk tracking or scanning on either one or the other, and have multiple programs open. So pretty handy. That's the basics of the radio. This is uh, completely different. This is a 2.4 gigahertz dongle. This is for wireless video. And uh, as you'll see in a minute, I have uh, some supporting gear for this, but in case the, uh, the mood struck you, you could tune in to uh, wireless security cameras with this plugged into your laptop. Uh, I think this is a, about eight bucks on eBay. Here I have my adapters and antennas. This is the UV3R, uh, the Baofeng unit. We'll come back to that in a minute. This is a rubber duck antenna from a unit in scanner. Allows me to, it works really well on um, the standard frequencies that you'd be scanning, um, such as uh, marine or police fire or whatever. These are all the adapters. I'll post a link below. I also did another video um, back before, I, I like to think my videos are a little better now, but I'll throw a link there uh, of the antenna, ad antenna adapter video. Um, the list will be down at the bottom. Uh, this is not an adapter, this is actually one of the antennas that comes with one of the dongles. So um, 239 to SMA, SMA to MCX. Basically 239 to SMA again, except a pigtail, uh, B and C, and this one is the PAL, the PAL connector, which plugs into the TerraTech unit. Between all of this, I can adapt to any antenna I have. Uh, also in here, I have some headphones, 9 volt battery, you'll see what that's for in a minute, some alligator leads, um, some binder clamps or whatever you call those, just uh, stationary clamps and a cheap aluminum carabiner. This is really handy for hanging up in a field expedient antenna or hooking up to an antenna that you don't have the style to hook up to. These things are very forgiving. You can tune as you wish, so your antennas aren't a limiting factor. In here as well, I have some SD cards and a uh, USB stick. On here, I keep copies of all the software that operates these units. Um, 
I also store the software on Dropbox, so it's synchronized across all my PCs and I run it from there. That way the configuration for all these is always current when I run it from that network location. It works fantastic. This is a nifty little backup just in case you don't have network connection, which is going to happen. So it works pretty good. Take that off. What we have in here is the complete Bofeng UV3R. Uh, I can use the antenna for it on the SDRs or also if the mood struck you could be tuned in on the laptop and you can also program it in on the UV3R and take it with you or uh, all, a huge amount of uses. A tiny little radio. If you're not familiar with these, these are some of the best money I ever spent. The 5R is a great radio too, much easier to work with, but it's not nearly as tiny. So this one stays in here all the time, keep it charged up. This is my Ham It Up Up Converter. Um, I just printed this 3D case on my Solid Oodle printer yesterday. Uh, I'll maybe quickly show you that. What we have is this is the up converter board. What this does is allows us to take these USB dongles and get down into the high frequency range, short wave. I can go from basically zero right up all the way to the top of the band, uh, right up to over a gigahertz between these two components. This thing works great, it's from Noelec, and uh, the only thing, it doesn't come with a case, but if you're lucky enough to have a 3D printer, you can just make one. This is a fantastic piece of kit. I leave it plugged in all the time. When I'm working with the, the dongles, I just leave it in the off mode, which is pass through. And when I want to go into the HF, you just flick the switch. It's easy as that. Runs off of USB power, which is over here. Easy peasy. This is the mating camera. This is a 2.4 gigs wireless camera. This came with this dirt cheap uh, security camera and you can run it off a 9 volt battery. Receive 2.4 gig you can do uh, security scanning with just this. You can use this to sanity check and make sure things are working or you can set this up as your own uh, in place security camera if you really wanted to. Handy little thing, doesn't take up any room, works great, long range on it too. Uh, as well, actually one more thing on that. What this thing allows as well is a video card interface into your laptop. The AV in here, you simply plug this in and you've got audio video in. This is a, uh, I forget what they used to call them, a TV card or whatever you used to have to buy for your PC. This functions as that. Under 10 bucks. Works great. This is one of the original antennas. This one I really like. This is the MCX connector for the 820T USB dongle. It's just an extendable steel antenna. Works great. Uh, it's You can unscrew it from the base. Uh, pretty happy with this. You'll find this stock antenna actually works great with the USB dongles. I'm, I'm super impressed with it. Uh, this is one of the other bases that comes, this comes with the, uh, the TerraTech unit because it has the, the PAL, the PAL style connector. Um, it's got a mag mount, pretty neat little antenna. I don't really use that one, as you can see. Um, headphone, mail to mail adapter. This allows you to plug in radios right into your laptop and use say PSK31 to decode or if you're really lazy if you're doing uh, ACARS or some kind of decoding and you don't want to set up uh, virtual audio cables you can just loop the speaker output back into the mic input and it makes it really quick and easy to set up software. I mainly used this when I was doing HF um, high frequency fax decoding to plug this into my shortwave radio but now with the up converter I have shortwave radio built into the USB dongles. This is a really handy little tool. This is the Sanjian long wire antenna. I can't remember the length on this thing. It's, it's really long. It has 
headphone style plug-in for uh, the PL600 shortwave radio I have, but it also has this nifty little clip that clips on to any standard antenna. Pretty handy little device. The only thing I'm missing is uh, a connector to go from this right into the uh, uh, either the up converter or right into the USB dongles. So I, that's the one thing I'm missing out of this kit. That is pretty much it. That's just a USB extender in case you need to move the dongle away from the PC. That is my entire kit. It fits into this little tiny box. Allows me to receive, you name it. Uh, the sky's the limit with receiving on these things. One component that I keep outside the kit that I often bring with me, this is indeed a toilet plunger from Dollar Store, but I found it fits the Nagoya 2 meter 70 centimeter antennas that fit the UV3R and the UV5R and as well they're um, an SMA connector plug right into these nifty little pigtails that I have with the male-to-male -male adapters. So you just screw that in there, hook on your connector right into either the USB or the up converter. Actually, I'm probably not going to use these with the up converter unless you're in pass-through. But really, really handy little antennas. Um, I can't remember the model on these. Uh, I'll maybe throw it in the description. I use these for uh, satellite. For amateur satellite reception work absolutely fantastic so good old toilet plunger to house them in hey we use whatever works cost a buck at the dollar store can't go wrong it's the only item outside the kit so there you have it that is my basically all band receive and in some cases if you really wanted to transmit in a box thanks for watching